week 20, day four. As we read in this selection from 1 Chronicles 23 through 26, we need to uh, link back and remember that in chapter 22, David was preparing for building the temple and what his preparations were is recorded there. Now, we know that ultimately God told him that he would not be the one to build the temple because he had been a man of war. It had been what he needed to be in his lifetime, but God was going to insist that it be a man of peace that build his temple. Nonetheless, we find that David is still interested uh, in how and what the temple is going to look like. But what we see here is that his interest is not solely in the structure of the temple but rather in the worship itself. And so in these particular chapters, we see how David reorganizes or perhaps reorganizes the priests and the Levites for service in the temple. This includes musicians, even gatekeepers, anyone who would serve in the temple. David's concern is not just the structure of the temple, but worship itself. You know, in this day and age, and, and particularly here, we have a beautiful sanctuary here at Westside. It's such an exciting and beautiful place to go. And people often talk about just sitting in the sanctuary and relaxing into the beautiful surrounds. But sometimes it can be easy for us to get caught up in the structure and forget about why it's the structure was built. The structure was built so that we could worship the one true God. So our focus could be on God and not what's around us. It doesn't mean that having a beautiful sanctuary and a wonderful church is a bad thing, as long as we remember to keep our priorities straight. And our priorities should always be on God first.